Hey, and thanks for joining me for another 3D how-to video. Recently, in a 1-2-3D speed design, I created Jinx's Zapper from League of Legends. This involved creating a coil shape within the barrel of the gun. Now, in another uh, 3D how-to video, I taught you how that you can create a coil shape within 1-2-3D design by taking a donut shape, cutting it into pieces, copying it and rotating it and organizing it so it looks like a coil shape. Well, in modeling Jinx's Zapper, I actually found a new way that you can create coil shapes in 1-2-3-D design that's a lot faster and gives you a, a lot more smoother transitions in the object. First, let's start out by creating the center line that's going to be the length of the coil we're creating. Let's just go to Sketch, Polyline, and just sketch a line uh, however long you want the coil to be. Okay, now we're going to be creating sketches that are going to represent the cross section of each section of the coil that we're creating. Let's go to sketch, and the cross section will be a circle. So just right next to the origin, let's make a circle that is 0.5 uh, centimeters or inches across. It really doesn't matter. Uh, for Jinx's Zapper, I didn't pay attention how big it was. I just played it by ear and just tried to make it make it look good by eye in, in reference to the rest of the gun. Now to connect each of these sketches, we're going to use the loft tool to connect each of the cross sections of the spring. And to create these sketches, we actually need to uh, pattern this sketch around the center line. Now 123D doesn't have a tool where you can pattern sketches, but you can pattern objects. Now to do this, we're going to create an object out of this sketch, pattern it around the center line, pull sketches out of those objects, and then delete the, uh, the objects to leave just the sketches. I know that sounds complicated, but just follow along and you'll see how this can be done. So go to Construct, Extrude, and we're just going to make this about uh, 0.2 inches tall. Now that we have our first object, let's go to Pattern, Circular Pattern, select the object we just created, click Axis, and select our center line. Now the more cross sections you have, the smoother the transitions between each sketch will be. So we're going to go with 8 for now. Click Enter to confirm. Now like I mentioned, we need to pull sketches from each of these objects now that we have it patterned around the center line. To do that, let's use the project tool within Sketch. So go to Sketch, Project, click on the, the side face of this cylinder, and that will establish the, uh, the surface that we want to sketch on. And to pull out the sketch, you'll see that it highlights the edge around the, the side of the cylinder. That's the edge that we want to create a sketch from. So click and click Enter, and we have a sketch now, right there. We're going to do that for each of these cylinders. Now once each object has a sketch associated with it, go ahead and get rid of the objects. Just click on it and click delete, making sure you're not selecting the sketch as well. And just do that for each object. Now if we were to loft between these cross sections now, it would just create a donut shape. But we want to create a helix going down the length of this, uh, of this center line. To do that, let's incrementally move each of these sketches down the center line, making sure to be consistent in between each cross section. So let's move the first one. Click on the sketch, click transform and move. Select the, the uh, direction that you want to move the sketch, and we're going to move it uh, just 0.5. For the next one, it has to be 0.5 inches ahead of the last one we just made, so we're going to move it a whole inch. Click the direction and type in 1. There we go. Now let's do that for each of these sketches until each uh, cross section is in position for the helix. Once you move the last sketch, let's actually copy and paste the first one just so it makes one complete full rotation and doesn't leave a gap. Control C, Control V, click the direction and type in 4. Okay, so we have each cross section in position. 
So like the uh, another 3D how-to video where I showed you how you can use the loft hole to make cat ears or horns for a cosplay costume, we're going to loft in between each of these, making sure that we select the same, uh, the same location in each sketch. So while holding down the control key, we're going to select each sketch. Making sure that we're clicking in the same location on each sketch. There we go. Now with each sketch selected, go up to Construct and Loft. And as you can see, we have one full rotation uh, of the helix created. Now to make this the length that you want, you could either uh, copy and paste all the sketches and loft in between each sketch for the whole length, or you can just copy and paste this one object. So click on the object, Control C, Control V. We're just going to move it down a little bit, and then I like to select the, uh, the mating surfaces using the snap tool to move it right into place. There we go. Let's see what this looks like. Hide sketches. There we go, that actually looks pretty good. You can see because we use multiple cross sections, uh, it actually has a very smooth transition. You can see a little bit of... Uh, of edges as it goes around it's not completely round but um, the more sketches you do the rounder it will be and it's just something that you can't avoid unless you want to put a lot of time and detail into it for Jinx's zapper I actually only used four different cross sections for uh, down the length of the of the coil and when you look down it it actually looks more like a diamond instead of a full circle I will say that one thing that uh, that occurs when you use this method is if you are copying and pasting the object, you'll actually get a, an edge right here that won't look as smooth as the rest of them. You can use the combine tool and then fill it that so it's a little bit smoother, but um, either way, it's up to you. If you know a different way to create coils and helixes in 123D Design, please leave it down in the comments below and I'd be happy to make another video about it or address it on the channel. If you have any other questions about 3D Design or about the channel, please leave those down in the comments below as well. If you got anything out of this video, please like and subscribe to the channel. Also, don't forget to check out the description for my free guide on how to 3D print without a 3D printer. Alright, I'll see you in the next video.